Okay, so let's get one more in tonight. Uh, I'm jumping around. I haven't solved all the problems yet. Thought this one was kind of fun. I thought I would get to it uh, and try it out. The numbers in order of each row and the numbers in order of each column. This is the 10A problem 21, 2024, and the 12A problem 14. Uh, in order of each column of a five by five array of integers form an arithmetic progression of length five. Interesting note, why is it arithmetic when we say it this way, but arithmetic when we're talking about the subject matter? And I was curious about that. So I was like, why is that? But if you think about it, you can probably figure it out. Let me pause the video, I'll tell you in a moment. So it's because one's a noun and one's an adjective. And you pronounce the noun, arithmetic, different from the adjective describing the type of progression. Uh, I figured that out without having to look it up. So kind of fun. You can like think about things like that and figure them out. So of length five, uh, the numbers in positions five, five, two, four, four, three, and three, one are zero. So five, five is row five, column five and then two, four, row two, column four. They are those values there, they give them to you. What number is in this position with the question mark? Now, I tried a few different things. If you might know in an arithmetic progression, the middle number is the average. So for example, this row has an average of 60. What would that do? Maybe I could do 12 minus D, 12 minus 2D, 12 plus, D, 12 plus 2D. I tried to guess and check. I tried, what if I just did 10, 8, maybe like anything you pick, it will always work. Like one of those kind, no matter what values you used. So I went 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. If this is 14, that has to be 15. That has to be 17. And that has to be 18. You count up 18, 36, 54, go backwards, and it didn't end up working out. So you might have tried that, and there's nothing wrong with that. There are a lot of problems where no matter what values are used, it will always be able to generate the same value somehow. We might not know the exact mechanism at play. Uh, could not figure out how to capitalize on the 12 being the average. 16 is also the average of its row, so you would know this sum was 80. Maybe there is a, something you can do with that. Uh, 80 going this way and that. Maybe you can find some way to play around with that on your own. I couldn't figure out what to do with it exactly, so I decided I was gonna label something somewhere a value. And I just decided to go from the row 12 to build out this way. It's just the way I did it. Is there other ways that you could do it? Sure, I'm sure there is. Um, I'm gonna call this 12 plus D, and this will be, I'm sorry, not 2D, just D. <laughs> I'm thinking about the next term already. 12 plus D, this will be 12 plus 2D, 12 plus 3D, and finally 12 plus 4D. Now, of course, if that's 12 plus 4D, I can cut it in half and make this 6 plus 2D, because then it has to go down to zero. Going the other way, this would be 18 plus 60. Okay, then what? What about 16? See, this number right here, uh, and 16 have to have an average of 12 plus 2D. So why don't we go ahead and work that way? We'll call it Y for a second. 16 plus Y over two uh, needs to equal 12 plus 2D. Multiply by two, 24 plus 4D equals 16 plus Y. Y then, that unknown value, is going to be eight plus 4D. So this right here is eight plus 4D. Now again, this and this have to average to 48. That means they have to sum to 96. So if you have 8 plus 18, which is 26 plus 10D, it equals 96. Again, this plus this over 2 equals 48. Multiplying by that 2 to the other side all in one step. Subtract 26. 10D is now 70. And we found a value for D. So it's at that point when you know, when I found what D was, that I just went ahead and started filling this in with numbers. Uh, we knew that this was 19. I'll just kind of write it over here. You have 12, 19, 26, and then adding 733 and adding 740. 
Um, the 16 would be underneath right here, making, you're counting by 10, obviously. So this is 36, that's 46. 33 going to 48 right above it. Uh, you're gaining 15, you could go up 63. When you go up 63 and you subtract down to 46, you're subtracting 17. And so subtracting 17 again will put you at 29. Uh, you must be going down by five here, just out of incidentally down five, down five. So that's gonna be it. That unknown value is going to equal 29. Now, I am sure there are other ways to do this. If you'd like to leave yours in the comments below, that would be great. And again, I'm showing you only what worked. I had a couple of attempts that I couldn't figure out how to navigate from those points. And there's probably, there's probably a lot of ways to do it, if we're honest. This was really a very unorthodox type question where it wasn't really like you always do such and such. It wasn't so much pattern based other than the commonality of what an arithmetic progressions properties look like, which was interesting. We had geometric progressions. We had arithmetic progressions. They definitely mixed it up a lot this year. Hope you enjoyed the problem.